Welcome to American Life 365. Today Kamala Harris announced that Tim Walls has been selected as Kamala Harris's running mate. I wanted to know who Tim Walls was, so I searched the internet for information about him. Tim Walz's radical stance on abortion truly makes me angry and sickened. In January 2023, Walls signed Minnesota legislation that would place no restrictions on when a woman can end the life of her unborn baby. Minnesotans need to know that your access to reproductive health and your right to make your own health care decisions are preserved and protected, Walls said at the time of the so-called Protecting Reproductive Choice Act. Walls continued, because of this law, this will not change with the political winds and the composition of the Supreme Court. Everyone has the fundamental right to make independent decisions about their own reproductive health, including the fundamental right to use or refuse reproductive health care. Reproductive health care is a euphemism for abortion. Abortion was already protected by a Minnesota Supreme Court decision, but the new law guarded against a future court reversing that precedent as the U.S. Supreme Court did with Roe v. Wade, and Mr. Walls said this year that he was also open to an amendment to the state's constitution that would codify abortion rights. There is no limit on the time a woman can end the life of her unborn child, meaning there is no limit from the first day of the baby's life coming into this world to the day of birth. This type of abortion is more extreme than China's one-child policy, which has killed millions of unborn babies. This is not abortion, this is murder. The Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, striking down the constitutional right to abortion and allowing states to ban abortion because the Constitution made no mention of abortion and abortion rights were not deeply rooted in American history. The progressive left argued that the decision violated women's abortion rights and could jeopardize other constitutional rights. The ruling is expected to result in about half the states banning abortion, significantly changing reproductive rights across the United States. Some states, such as Alaska and Colorado, have no limit on how long a woman can get pregnant. Other states, such as Alabama and Arkansas, have halted nearly all abortion services with limited exceptions to protect a woman's health or life. Many states set specific gestation limits, such as 15 weeks in Arizona and 24 to 26 weeks in California. Abortion legality and restrictions can be complex and vary widely, so it's important to understand each state's specific laws. Kamala Harris has often emphasized the connection between personal freedom and the right to make decisions about one's own body. She believes freedom includes the ability to make choices about reproductive health without government interference. She has been a staunch advocate for reproductive rights and has always emphasized that decisions about women's bodies should be made by women themselves, not the government. She has been vocal about the importance of protecting abortion rights. As Vice President of the United States of America, her stance on abortion was in opposition to the Supreme Court ruling. The Supreme Court said abortion is a decision for states, not individuals. Now I can't help but wonder, what if a woman had an unborn baby girl living in her mother's belly? Can an unborn girl determine her right to live? The idea that women make decisions about their own bodies is a steal. Yes, anyone can decide when they can eat, sleep, or use the bathroom, and decide on the treatment of illness. If one person's decision determines another person's life, then it cannot belong to you alone. The United States is a diverse country with a wide range of beliefs and values. Respect for individual life is the foundation of every aspect of American values. If life is not respected, it is no different than communist Stalin and fascist Hitler. Back to our roots, loving life and loving people. If you think this is something that has to be done, you have to make more and more people aware of this issue. Spread this awareness to more and more people. If you like this channel, please subscribe, share, and like it so that more people can hear this voice. Thanks.